gonna bring you a new popular video today which got 4.2 million yikes which means that uh, it's in the public conversation everyone wants to talk about it everyone has an opinion and if you have the wrong opinion you're going to upset people on the internet who's going to try to destroy your life because you have the wrong opinion so you need to make sure you have the correct opinion which is why you come to my channel and i'll educate you so let's see what this is about a lot of men actually love single moms I was a single mom, right? And I know a lot of you guys have so many limiting beliefs that men... I, I love the concept, limiting beliefs. It's something that exists inherently in the English language. Like, we didn't have it in my country. We still don't. Um, we just believe that some beliefs are true and some beliefs are false. But when we don't have, like, expansive beliefs or limiting beliefs, it's just, like, a bewildering new concept that's coming from Twitter. Men don't want living, uh, single moms. All the men that were interested in me, none of them had kids. Some of them had never been married, and they were all ready to be in a relationship with me and take responsibility of my son. I get no Oof. child support, none of that. They were willing to do that. Why? Because when you can show that... I mean, the reason why is very simple. It's the ancient old wisdom. And sometimes you actually need to refer to ancient wisdom because it survived thousands of years. So, so it must be true. I know that like, the academia in America is waging war against anything that's conservative and came before us, but like, no, 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 ancient wisdom such as men will tell women anything in order to get into their pants, anything, like that is still true, like that still holds today. So like if you had many men that told you stuff and they didn't hang around, then you should actually refer to the ancient wisdom them that you are so ready to accept a man's providing that you're going well that that's the problem right is the providing aspect like men actually want to be loved like like a man wants you to want a husband a significant other and a partner he doesn't want to be viewed as a provider this is like the equivalent of a woman being viewed as a sex object you see what i'm saying right like there are some women that probably prefer this like, obviously, if you go around and you look like there's hundreds of millions of people, well, actually, there's billions of women out there, and eventually you may find one that likes to be treated as a sex object. Like, she generally likes that. She, it's her thing, right? But that doesn't mean that all the other women uh, like that. Like, most women like to be loved, um, and it's the same with men, right? Like, there are men that may genuinely want to feel as a provider, as an ATM machine. Like, you can find men like that. But most men don't like it if their significant other looks at them as a provider, as like, well, you know, normally I wouldn't get this guy, but because I need money and it's an easy way to get it, I I'll hang around. This is like uh, that previous video that I did, which also went viral, with the woman that told her boyfriend that he's not the type of guy he would uh, do a one-night stand with, but he is the type of guy that uh, he would ha she would have a relationship with, right? Like, this is the essence that we're talking about. She's basically telling him that, yeah, like, I I I'm not sexually attracted into you to the point where I would uh, feel lustful, but I do look at you as a provider. Like, like, there are some men out there that I would just, like, sleep with them after meeting them for one night. But with you, however, like, you need to earn it. Like, you, you need, right? So, so it's very insulting for a man if you tell him like this. Going to be so grateful for it that you're going to find so much pleasure in his providing. And he gets to be a part of this world that you have already built. And you want to share this. Exp yeah, but that, that's the thing, right? Like, men actually want to build their own world as well. Like, most men want to build the world together with you. And they don't really like it if the world is already built. It's kind of like uh, playing a video game and going into someone else's load game. Or, or watching a movie after it already started. Like, like, sure, maybe some people enjoy that. But, like, a lot of people would enjoy having the journey from the beginning with you. Experience with him. That's why men want to be a part of single mom's lives. So I, I really find it interesting that when a man uh, says what women want, it's mansplaining. But when you have like a lady, which is probably why it went viral, right? And she's telling the world uh, how men feel and how men like and, and what it, it comes asses off. Like, I will tell you the reality. Uh, there, there's a lot of single bobs out there, especially from outside of Eastern Europe. Because I hear the marriage rates are a lot more stable. But outside of Eastern Europe... You have like these forums where single moms talk with each other and they provide emotional support for each other. And every now and then, you know, like the, a man enters the forum 
and he would say that he doesn't like a single mom. And, and all these cannons are like, but why? What's wrong with her? Like, what, what, what is it? What, what, what is about her that you don't like? It is perfectly fine. You know, and it's like, you, you can't say that unless you're in the dating scene for women. Right, like, you, you cannot talk about the preferences of the other gender because it's like me saying, oh, like, women like short guys. Like, women, all women, like, like men that are smaller than them. And uh, when women say, like, no, I wouldn't, I'm like, but, but, but why? What is wrong with them? They have a really great personality. And, you know, like, it's, it, it comes off as weird when you do it. Uh, the reality is that I know a lot of single fathers. I know a lot of single fathers uh, who ended up being in this situation because uh, their their wives passed away. Uh, being a doctor, like you actually get to meet patients, and then you you know people that end up in a situation where they have to raise their kids alone. And uh, do you want to know what happens when you're a single dad? Oh, that's right, your dating options become severely limited. It's literally the same. It is literally the same. It's the same thing. Like women also want a man with no obligations. Now, the, in Romania, when it comes to child custody, the dad can sometimes also get the child. Same thing happens. Their dating opportunities are significantly limited because other women go like, okay, so this man has another woman in his life that he still needs to talk to in order to negotiate the child custody and in order to um, ma ma make sure that the kid stays with her for a while and then he comes and stays with him. Uh, and they ask the questions like, what if the spark reignites? What, what if uh, he starts talking with her again? What, what if he tries working it out? You know, I do understand why women wouldn't want to date a single dad. It, it can happen to me. It can happen to you. You know, like one day your wife, heaven forbid, can get into a car crash or something can happen and you're a single dad, right? And you just understand the situation. But you don't try to change society. You don't go and you lecture women. It's like, no, this is not how it should be. I deserve. I am entitled. Like, sure, you know, some women may be okay with it. And that's fine, you know, great. But, like, let's be honest. Like, your dating opportunities are definitely going to plummet. Um, so, that, that is, like, one of the things I noticed. And the other thing I noticed is that uh, not all single moms are the same. Which is true, right? But no one is, makes this point. Like, some single moms can be single because the husband passed away. Like, there's nothing you can do about that, right? So now you're a single mom, and you didn't do anything wrong. There's no mistake there. There's no blame on your part. But there are also other single moms that, for instance, uh, had promiscuous sex without using a condom, without any type of protection, uh, with men that are womanizers. So, like, they knew that the man is a womanizer. They, they were aware that this is the type of man that jumps from flower to flower. And they didn't want to use any type of condom. Well, in this case, like, surely some of the blame for that decision. Hey, can, can we put, like, a little bit of blame? I, I know it's difficult to, to, in, in society to, to put the blame on the federal state. But just a little bit, you know? Like, like some decisions may be bad, is what I'm saying. So, like, uh, there's other women that also make TikTok videos. Because this is how I know about it, right? They make TikTok videos. They're, they're saying it in public that the reason they're having kids out of wedlock is because they want the child support. And it's like, okay, but, like, if you want that, then don't complain that your dating options are now limited. Because, like, that is your economic strategy. That That is what you have planned, right? So, no, like, not all single moms are the same. I mean, you, you can have a woman who uh, is with a husband that becomes a drunk. Like, when, when she dated him, he wasn't a drunk, but then becomes a drunk or becomes a, a drug addict, and then is a danger for the child. I have seen such cases at the hospital. Like, there were cases where the mom had to uh, take the, the kid away and ran away from home because the father was actually abusive, right? So I do understand, like, there are situations where being a single mom is understandable, and there are situations where being a single mom is due to the decisions that the mother took, um, but it's not the onus on men to try to change, right? Because, like, on one hand, society tells a woman, it's like, no, 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 you're perfect. You shouldn't lower your standards. You, you should, like, still deserve Prince Charming. Like, you, you are entitled to Prince Charming, right? But for some reason, we t can't tell Prince Charming that he is also entitled to the woman of his dreams. And if the woman of his dreams doesn't happen to have children, then, uh, well... Why should he lower his standards? Why, why should he think differently? Why, why can't he have what women have? It's just like, no, you are Prince Charming. You, you deserve what you want, well, whatever that may be. Uh, and you shouldn't lower your standards for anyone.
But I think, like, this is what uh, the cat is not upset. It's like, if you consider that uh, going with a woman that has a, a child is lowering your standards. Well, from the point of view of a man, it is, because they have completely different standards than you do. Right? Like, you, most men do not care about your social status. They do not care if you're a CEO. They do not care if you're educated or not. They have different standards. And one of those standards seem to be that they want to start a journey together. Like, men would prefer a woman that had no previous relationship before them so that they can begin the journey together and discover the joy of parenthood together and make these decisions together. And hopefully there's not another man in your life that uh, you have to talk with them constantly and and they have to come into your house and be a reminder that the the woman you're with had sex with another person, which is something that women don't put up with uh, either. Anyway, right, let me know what you guys think. And as usual, I'll see you in the comment section. Take care.